Hello everyone and welcome to New Nerdy Workshop, the place where we show you how to hack together your own one-of-a-kind custom creations and inventions. I'm Mahoney. And I'm the Czar. Today we're going to show you how to do an easy hack for the average beginner, a console controller mod. Enough of this banter. Go to round one. Fighting games are back on the rise. <sighs> And there's no better way to recreate that arcade style feel than with a classic arcade style control stick. And if you don't totally suck like some people, then this classic arcade feel is the only way to go. And this project is easy. Build a box, do some wiring, put the wiring in the box, own some noobs. And while you're at it with trying to own those noobs, how about you don't build it inside of a Tupperware container? I mean seriously, how do you even hold your head up high? Pardon me, young male humanoids, but your juvenile banter is quite annoying. Don't worry. I'll analyze the build while you go tinker with your crudely constructed little man tools. Analysis of the build pile indicates several necessary components. One one-player start push button. Two small normally open momentary push buttons. Eight arcade push buttons. One arcade joystick. As a controller, in this case, our two organ-encased contractors have opted for a standard Xbox 360 controller. Combine these items along with your own personal enclosure, and you have a little piece of arcade heaven at home. So you bought your new fighting game, and you're ready for your 50 win streak. But after only two rounds, your thumbs begin to hurt. You have 21st century Nintendo thumb. Do not be a slave to the man. Take this thing apart. On the back you'll find seven screws. The final one is located underneath the serial number sticker in the battery compartment. Using a number eight Torx bit, you want to access these screws. However, they are security written. There's a little nub inside. Take a jeweler's flathead screwdriver, jam it in there ever so gingerly, and pop her out. You'll then be able to use your bit to access the screws. Using a hobby knife, carefully scrape off the black coating on top of the button pads, as well as the small areas on the D-pad. While you're doing this, take a moment to plug in your soldering iron. You really should use a 15 watt soldering iron with a fine tip. Any hotter and you'll burn a hole right through your board. Something Czar has done three times. It was an achievement for my NG class! Czar is prepping the board and the connecting wires by tinning them. He's using flux paste to ensure good solder on the contacts before joining them. Some of these boards have a common ground and some don't. To avoid confusion, we're going to solder two wires to each button. This is the easiest way to do button mapping. It's not important to know which wires power and which ones ground, just which pair goes to which button. All that's left is to apply our heat shrink tubing and attach our connectors. Alright folks, let's get to making ourselves an enclosure. We're going to build ourselves just a simple box. It's got a bottom, four sides, a top, with a hinged lid. It'll be perfect. Alright, I'm using some red oak. Once you get some stain on this bad boy, it looks fantastic. Now, as you can see, I have pre-cut and pre-drilled my piece according to the build files, so let's screw this thing together. Finishing nails are an option, but I use screws because they're easier. This part comes down to three key elements. Sizing the bit, clamping the frame, and ensuring a flush square finish. Alright, let's get this thing together and get ourselves a functional controller. A good stain job is going to take a while to accomplish, but it's worth it. Coming up, I drag and punch my way through Zara's Kevlar goatee. Not too shabby. Oh, thank you. I like it better than a Tupperware box. But the ammo can. 50 cal. I like it. Nice idea of recycling parts, like that Cat5 cable for the wiring. There's two of us here like trees. Oh, I like trees too. They just make great building materials. Hey, before I spank this wanker from the MVC3, you should know that we've got build files on our website to do everything that you saw here. We've got build files with drill sheets, cut sheets, and step-by-step -step instructions. Just follow the link below. Head on over to newnerdy.com. Hey, Sally Sue, wait up! We'll 
we'll use a wired controller so we can easily make little kids cry on our PCs over Steam. <laughs> Cut! That was awesome! <laughs>